So looking at the screen of the TI-84, uh, all the key the key groups are kind of organized in these di discrete entities uh, to help you navigate around them. So the first row that we see just underneath the kind of the main screen of the calculator is our graphing keys. Now, well, most of the keys on the 84 have uh, functions other than their uh, original functions. So they have a secondary and a tertiary function as well. And they might not necessarily fit into these groups, but the primary functions always do. So the first row of keys we see are graphing ones. Um, the next ones down from there are things like the editing key. So like mode, delete, insert. Um, also the second and the alpha key kind of fit into that as well. Down from there, we've got all the keys. We've got kind of like a special discrete functions and maybe other menus and things within them. So that's things like the math, statistics, programming, um, and those type of keys. Um, so they kind of all go together in that nice little section there as well. Next down from that, we have our scientific keys. So that's things like trigonometry, uh, squared, square roots, logs down the side as well. Um, and they're our scientific calculation keys. Right in the middle, uh, you can see at the bottom there, we just have our standard number keys. Uh, that also includes things like the zero, the decimal point, the negative, and the brackets just above. On the right hand side are our operation keys. And uh, there's also a couple that don't necessarily fit in to any particular group, things like the store button. But we will cover them in more detail in other lessons. Okay, so moving on to looking at some of the secondary and tertiary functions of the different uh, keys on the calculator, you'll notice that pretty much every key, I think with um, the only exception being the clear button, all of them have got some bit of green or blue writing above them. Um, and most of them have got both. So what this is telling you is what, is what the secondary and the tertiary function of each button is. So the blue corresponds to the secondary function and the green corresponds to the tertiary function. So if we focus in on this math menu here, you'll notice that above it, it also has test in blue and, and a letter A in green. So if I pressed into the math menu, um, this is kind of what it, it initially comes up with. Um, and if I clear to exit that menu, um, and instead I press the second button first, uh, you'll notice that the cursor changes on the screen. That's telling me that my second button is activated. Um, and I'm going to cl click the math button again. It actually comes up with a completely different menu in here. Um, again, I can clear to exit that menu. And this time I'm going to press the alpha key, which is now going to correspond to there being a little A on the screen. Um, and now if I click the math menu, that A appears on the screen. Um, and that would be kind of used for maybe some algebra or some programming, um, all the things we're gonna look at in more detail later on in the course. Next out, we're gonna be focusing in on the navigation wheel. So if I go back into that math menu again, and the navigation wheel helps us work through any kind of menus or screens we see on the calculator. Um, and this is what comes up first. We're in this math heading here. But say, for example, I wanted to find something in, say, my probability heading, which is all the way the fourth kind of subheading under my maths menu. Um, to get to that probability, I can use the navigation wheel just to scroll through. In this case, I want to move to the right. So I'm going to use my right key to scroll through to the right and highlight that probability key there. Um, I'm going to now pick my NCR button, which is number three. Okay, and if we go into there, um, and I'm going to click enter to uh, paste that command into the main screen. Um, and from here, I can uh, type in some numbers into my uh, combination. So I'm going to have uh, seven choosing two. Um, and again, I can use the navigation keys at this point to work through and highlight the different parts where I need to paste uh, some numbers in. So I'm going to press enter to solve that and there's my um, problem. Uh, the next thing it, with the navigation keys can be used for is working through the screen to look at some of your past calculations as well. So we can use the up and the down keys for this. So if we go through here, we can see um, we've, we can find um, some of our previous calculations and if we go down that'll take us back just back down to the bottom again. If you want to get rid of those calculations, press clear. That takes your home screen back 
to being uh, blank again. We can also use those navigation keys to lighten and darken the screen display. Now, I'm going to talk you through this, but this won't work on my calculator because it's being played through the computer. Um, but if you wanted to try along with your one at home, that would be great so you can, so you can see. Um, what happens though is if you press second and then the up button, you'll notice there's that little sun on the navigation key. Um, so that will lighten your screen display. And if you press second and then the down button, uh, that will darken the screen display. So the last two things we're going to look at is the uh, apps menu and also the catalog. Now I just wanted to highlight the apps menu to you. It's just the next one along from the math menu. Um, just because this has a lot of the kind of programs within programs on the calculator. So if you're looking for something really specific to do, this is the best place to kind of come and try and do that. So if you're looking at inequality graphing or you're wanting to solve a simultaneous equation. Uh, in this case, though, we're going to look at the periodic tables. So that's number eight. So to get to that, I can either use those navigation keys from before again, or I can just press the number eight, and that will take me to the periodic table. And that's true for any menu as well, not just the apps one. Now, so the menu is going to come up and say, press any key. So I'm just going to press any key, say the number six, and that's going to take me to the periodic table. Now, one of the reasons I just wanted to show you this app is, again, like I was talking about those kind of secondary and tertiary functions, um, some of the keys uh, might be even used for different things within a certain program. So if we're looking at our graphing keys at the top here, these are actually our control keys within this particular app. So if, say, for example, I wanted to list the elements instead of looking at them on the table, I would press the zoom key, which corresponds to that list one, and that would take me to the list of those tables. Um, again, if I want to quit, I have to use the graph key to quit that app there. And again, if I want to quit out of the whole app, I would use the graph key as well. So the very last thing we're going to mention is the uh, catalog key. So to access the catalog, we go second and zero, and that takes us into the catalog. And this essentially has a list of everything that you might need to find uh, on the calculator at all. Um, you'll notice when we get in there, it's got a little alpha sign at the top there. So it's telling me that the alpha key is ac actually activated straight away. And what that lets me do is search for any letter um, beginning, uh, anything, any commands might be beginning with a certain letter on the calculator. So for example, say I wanted to find the greatest common divisor of two numbers, I can press the tan key. And that takes me to the letter G. Um, and from there, I can select GCD using those navigation keys, uh, which is the greatest common divisor. If it's not a key that I've used before, I might want to check out what the syntax is like. Uh, and that will actually help me be able to use that. So if I press the plus key from here, I can see that the syntax could be actually a little bit interesting for this key. So it's got a value and another value, and they're separated by a comma. So to get that to work, that's the format that it needs to be in. So I can press the trace key to paste that command into my main screen, and then I can type in uh, my numbers that I want to use as a command. I'm going to use 81 and 105, and then I can see my greatest common divisor of those two numbers is 3. Um, that plus also comes in handy at other times, say for example, if you're looking at the math menu and you want to look at the syntax of any other keys in here. So I can press the plus key on that fraction key um, and I can see that I need to have, to be able to convert something to a fraction, I need to initially be starting uh, with a particular value to convert, otherwise that won't, um, that command won't work. So I can see that there. Um, again, to exit that, if you don't want to use it, press escape using the graph key um, and again, clear to exit the math menu and that will take me back to the main screen. So I hope you've uh, learned something from the lesson today and I look forward to seeing you guys next time. Bye.